Hello everyone, my name is Glenda Sparling with SureFit Designs and today I want to focus on you losing weight and what to sew with SureFit Designs. Now some of you are very familiar with what SureFit Designs will do for you, but those of you who are watching this for a first time and are new to SureFit Designs might be saying, well what is SureFit Designs? Well, it is a pattern fitting and designing system for home seamstresses and it provides you a master pattern that is in a very wide size range. In fact, it goes from uh, 28 inches all the way on up to 62 inches around in your bust and in your hip area. And because it's a master pattern, you lay over a piece of tracing vellum, you dot off the uh, measurement numbers that represent you, and then you connect your dots together and you end up with what I call your body blueprint. In the industry they call that a sloper. So your body blueprint actually reflects your body size as it is right now in your body measurements as they are right now. But your goal is to lose weight and very very frequently I get customers emailing me and saying well what's the best thing to sew when I'm losing weight because I don't want to have to redo my personal pattern over and over again. Well I'm going to talk about that today but first of all let me just say this because SureFit Designs is a master pattern and it lasts a lifetime when you lose weight it's so easy to draw it off again and draw off your personal pattern that is again but um, and what I recommend is that if you've lost anywhere from around oh 10 pounds but definitely 15 pounds you may want to consider redrawing your master pattern or your personalized pattern at that time because that's a fairly significant amount however let's talk about some garments that you can make that will accommodate this weight loss now in this video I'm going to focus on primarily pants and not skirts and the reason not skirts is because with a skirt unless it's a pencil slim skirt you might have gathers or pleats or um, a gourd skirt or something with flounces in it like an inset uh, go day and if you lose weight in your hips it's not going to be that obvious but when you want a pair of pants to fit you properly well then it becomes obvious as you've lost those pounds around your hip line so let's take a look at some of the considerations. First of all, when you are sewing, do not design a pair of pants with a side seam zipper because obviously that side seam zipper is going to get in the way of taking in your side seams. Your best option is going to be to do um, like a center front opening, perhaps a fly front. And as we take a look at this, one of the things I'd like you to be aware of is the pocket right here. This is what I call a wedge angle pocket. Now that's in the side seam of the pants. Well, once again, that's not really appropriate for when you're losing weight because that pocket is going to make it very difficult for you to stitch those side seams in closer to your body. But what you can do is a pocket design that's very much like what I'm showing you in this little crop leg pant. And this is that wedge angle pocket, but instead of being on the side seam, it's actually just right underneath the waistline. So if you were to take the side seams in, this would just get a little skinnier up here, but still allow enough room for your hand to go in. Now where you're going to find the directions for doing that, um, uh, angled pocket is in the latest book called Pants That Mix and Multiply and I believe it's style number two, the cropped leg pant. Of course you don't need to wear them as cropped leg if you don't want to. They could be a longer pant. It's the design of the pocket that's really important here. The other thing that I would recommend is that you do not put on belt loops because again that's more that's fussier to remove when you need to get the band off. And the other suggestion that I would make is that um, you stitch with um, a larger stitch length, a longer stitch length, like three or three and a half millimeters long. The longer that stitch length, without being a basting stitch, the easier it's going to be to pick and remove that waistband. 
So keep your designs simple, and if you do want a pocket, this is an excellent um, choice. Now, the other thing that I would like to draw to your attention is I'd like you to think about menswear for a moment. In menswear, they always sew the pants with a center back seam. And so it looks like this on the inside, which means that as you gain or lose weight, you can just remove this center back belt loop and then take the pants in or let them out. And, you know, I ask myself the question, why can't we do that in ladies' pants? And the answer is you can. And what you would be doing is creating a right side waistband and a left side waistband and doing your final row of stitching from the crotch up to the um, top of the waist edge. Then when you lose weight, all you need to do is take that area in. Now where you're going to find directions for doing that um, is in the men's pants instruction book and this is actually on page 10. There are some general directions there uh, to guide you in doing that particular technique. And I would suggest that just to give it a try because there is no reason in the world why you can't sew your pants in that final seam up center back. The next thing that I would like to talk about is a really fun design of pants called the Easy Wrap Pant. In fact, this is um, leaflet number eight, and you'll find this, of course, in the surefitdesigns.com website or the surefitdesignslearningcenter.com under fashion leaflets and design sheets. This is called the Easy Wrap Pant, and I would like to show it to you. In fact, I am wearing it. So we'll take a look at this um, style of pants and it's what I'm wearing right now. This entire waist edge has Velcro from here to here and how the pant style is designed is there is a wide wedge added to your side seam up at the waistline that goes down to nothing at the hemline. And the entire waist edge in the front is closed with two inch wide Velcro. And I want you to watch what happens here. You can totally release it. But when you go to wrap it up onto yourself, all you need to do is pull it back together. So I always say this is great when you're going out for dinner and you've overindulged because you can rip the waistband open and let it out just a little bit. But the other option is also true. As you lose weight, you can just pull that Velcro in a little bit tighter to your body. And that way, these pants are going to last you a long time. Not only that, this is a very, very slimming design because you've got the eye focused on this fold in the pants that goes from the hem all the way up to the waistline and it goes in that uh, V shape which again is adding height to your body. So this easy wrap pant, leaflet number eight, is really a fun one to try. The other thing that I would like to mention is about the tops and blouses that you wear. The jacket that I just had on this is the diagonal hemmed uh, jacket from Beyond Bodice Basics. And whenever you wear anything like this, it's got the diagonal shape from the side seam going down. And it's creating a nice long vertical look all the way up your body. And again, focuses the eye going upward. So this is one of the designs from one of the newer designing books called Beyond Bodice Basics. Another thing that I'd like you to consider sewing with is the SureFit Design Shirt Kit. Now, with the Shirt Kit, um, it provides you a deeper arm's eye and a flatter, broader sleeve cap. And because of that, there's a different sewing technique when you're sewing with the, uh, your, your shirt pattern. You would, in fact, um, sew your shoulder seams and then you would set in the sleeve and then 
when you finish the side seam, or when you sew the side seam, you're actually going to be sewing from the hem all the way up through the underarm to the hem of the sleeve. Now, the reason why this would be good for weight loss is because it's not a traditional set-in sleeve, and it means that as you lose weight in your torso area, it's going to be much easier to take that side seam in and to taper to nothing at your underarm. So really do consider uh, working with that shirt pattern and creating some of the new designs there. In fact, very recently, I've just released So Sensational Shirts. And one of the designs that you'll find in that um, designing book uh, tells you how to do this shoulder pleat. And this shoulder pleat, again, it's a nice long vertical line going up to your shoulder line. So it focuses the eye going upward. I think that if you start working with sure fit designs, realize that you have lots of options to create garments that are going to uh, go with you as you lose weight. And so with that, I would just like to close by saying, when you use sure fit designs, you can be sure of the fit. And please everyone, make sure you visit the SureFit Designs Learning Center and go to the video library. I know you're going to find a lot more videos there that are going to be really useful in helping you to get your clothing to fit you the best they possibly can.